Talking with Tom Dahl, who's been with Subaru for I don't know how many years now, but I think when we first spoke, you might have been CFO, but you've been in the, the top job for a long time. I've been with Subaru about 39 years now. Next, in fact, next year will be 40 years at the company. But it's been, it's been quite a ride and been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed every minute of it, Richard. Good to see you again. Yeah, great to see you. You've done a remarkable job. I mean, in 2008, when we had a recession, Subaru gained sales. Now we've had the pandemic. How is everything? Well, obviously, we're, we've been affected by the pandemic, like other manufacturers have been, because of the lack of chip supply and other supply chain issues. So last year, in the, the peak year was 700,000 vehicles that we sold in 2019. Last year, we did about 612,000 vehicles, and this year we're forecasting to be somewhere around 585,000 by the time the year is over. So we're down about 17% from the top in 2019 to where we think we're going to be currently at the end of 2021. But, un but unfortunately, you know, it's something that's beyond our control. We clearly could sell more vehicles if we had them available. And it's, it's, hard, it's hard to watch because we built the brand up to be so strong and to know that we could sell more vehicles. It's kind of frustrating to watch the sales report. Yeah, I remember a few years ago we had a chat. The sales were so good that your dealerships were having problems being able to service all the vehicles. Did you get over that hurdle? No, we're still working on that one, too. We, we've got, uh, you know, still many of our retailers around the country need to have improved service capacity and improved the amount of throughput because our, our ability to be able to grow in the future is going to be dependent on how well we can service the cars that are currently out there in operation. So we, many of our retailers have expanded their operations and are, are, are doing a great job in that regard, but we still need to continue to do better with it. Yeah, I and mean, there's so many Subarus still on the road. In fact, that's your bragging point that uh, they last longer on the road than any other vehicle. Well, that's right. We have 96% of all Subarus sold in the last 10 years are still on the road. So, and it's a tribute to the longevity of the cars. And as you know, our customers tend to keep their cars a long time. We have J.D. Power, in terms of their customer loyalty rating for the last three years, we're number one in customer loyalty. Uh, so the customers love the cars when they get in them. Now we just got to make sure we can continue the supply and make sure we can recover back. Right, and obviously being the all-wheel drive, uh, all-vehicle lineup car company, now you're getting into the EV space uh, with this new vehicle. Uh, how do you expect to do with that? That's right. Today we just launched at the LA Auto Show our 2023 model year Subaru Solterra. Uh, that vehicle is a full electric vehicle, the first full electric vehicle from Subaru, and you can tell when you look at it that it's a real SUV. Um, it has SUV capability, the way it drives, has the driving dynamics of a Subaru, the way it drives, handles with the all-wheel drive, and of course with the engine, and the way the motors are kind of laid out, the electric motors are laid out front and rear, it gives you unbelievable and unparalleled traction and control. So we think this vehicle is going to do extremely well for us, and we're going to be sold out of them. Fantastic. So what's uh, your big challenge now? Well, the big challenge is, is trying to make sure that we're ready for when when we are able to get our production back. And when I say ready, what I mean is you know, we're ready from a, from a manufacturing standpoint. We've got our processes in place so that we can produce the cars, but also our retailers, too, to make sure the sales processes can quickly recover so we can get back to 700,000 or more sales as quickly as possible. That's probably the biggest challenge, besides getting the chips to build the cars. Right. Well, great to see you. Congratulations and great vehicles. Thanks, Richard. Great to see you again. It's just been too long. Yeah. <laughs>